Hey Team Yellow, today we're here to talk to you about the new Wilson Burn version 5. We just got back from the courts playtesting this racket. We actually brought out the version 4 as well as I never had the opportunity to play with the previous model and always like to kind of just get a compare and contrast from the old versus the new as well as uh, it's also nice to kind of see the updated cosmetic Wilson made. Uh, now this actually is the last of the new updated versions of the Wilson, completing the, the new uh, Wilson lines and um, holy cow, being in Cincinnati, this thing absolutely just screams Cincinnati Bengals football. I uh, can't wait to do a whole lot more content with this as we move through the summer into NFL football season. Um, with this being version five, the Bengals have been to four AFC championships. So being the version five, I think the fifth time around, I, I think... Uh, I think I like our chances as we move into uh, into the start of the football season at the end of summer. But back to tennis, um, really like to just kind of compare and contrast the the differences in the play test. Really the specs, as far as all that's concerned, and all the technologies, everything's pretty in line. Uh, the really just the biggest difference again is that updated in the cosmetic. Uh, we did go out on the courts today with the uh, 100 square inch uh, model. So why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, the play test and the specs on this racket, Claire? Yeah, so this is a very standard racket. We've got the 100 square inch size head. It's a 10.6 unstrung racket, so it's 11.2 strong. 16 by 19, so a little more open stringing pattern. Um, this one's geared a little more towards power, I would say. And then we've got a couple other ones that are 18 by 16 stringing patterns, so that's more spin related, I would say. Um, overall, I thought it was a really nice racket. It's very easy to play with. It'll give you a lot of power. So I would say this is a good racket for those who are transferring from the junior racket to an adult racket or more intermediate beginner players. Um, but overall, I would highly recommend and I thought it was great. What'd you think? Yeah, no, I as, uh, couldn't agree more with how, how you put it in terms of how it was really lightweight, easy to maneuver, as well as having easy access to power. Um, really felt a lot of similarities. It was almost kind of like a mesh between uh, the Wilson Blade Ultra and um, really just again felt like I was able to get a lot of easy access to power. I think that is um, due to the high performance carbon fiber material that the racket's actually made of. Um, allows it to be a little bit more stiff. Also did uh, find some similarities in the, the balance distribution. Again, kind of going back to um, felt like it was a mesh between the Wilson Blade and Ultra as, as it is seven points headlight. Um, now, it also does come equipped with the same technology actually as the Wilson Clash Blade and Ultra uh, with the parallel drilling, which is really just a grommet construction system that provides a more forgiving uh, string, string bed responsiveness and overall just increases the sweet spot. Um, Wilson isn't really known for having more forgiving or larger sweet spot rackets, so having that parallel drilling that they've incorporated into all their new racket lines um, really again feels like you have um, more flexibility to, to hit some of those off-center shots and, and be able to get back to the center of the court and get ready for the next ball that's coming into you. Um, there are a few other styles actually. Uh, really, Wilson patented their, their own technology and having more mains than crosses. They actually have a few different models that have an 18 by 16. So um, we're really excited to, again, continue more content and, and give you guys our honest feedback once we get those rackets out there on the court and let you guys know how those play, especially with me having kind of a flatter ball. Um, but overall, I thought the play test went great, felt the best on my forehand and, and didn't really feel too connected on my one-handed backhand. So a lot of times I found myself rolling around my backhand and hitting an inside out or even an inside in forehand up the line. And uh, again, having that easy access to power um, really felt like the, the play test was, was, was really great overall. So let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, we'd love to in in interact and engage with you guys. We're going to be continuing to do more product reviews and play tests. If there's anything that you're wanting us to product review or, or give you guys our opinion on, we'd love to uh, hear from you guys. I'm sure Wilson would love to hear from you guys as well. But thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one. Advantage you.